What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Shane and welcome to another episode here on 5 Star Cards where I just give my thoughts and opinions of what's going on in the car community on YouTube. On today's episode, we're going to be covering drag times, um, we're going to be covering vehicle versions and uh, Elliot Alves and a few others as well. Before we jump into the guys, just, you know, if you want, smash the subscribe button. Be pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, get involved, guys. Uh, I do bring up your comments every Sunday. Uh, again, thanks for everybody who's commented so far. I know I'm a small channel. Just give it a chance. And uh, we hope you get a project car in the summer as well, with your help. Uh, so we'll just jump into today's episode, shall we? We kick it off with drag times. The um, I think it's been the drag race I've been looking forward to since I heard it was going to be announced. I've been waiting to see this for quite a while and I'm delighted it's out. Uh, the SF90 against the 765 LT. Uh, and I will say guys, if you haven't checked out the video, I'll link in the description below. you got to go and check it out. It is very close um, in terms. So before I get into the, my thoughts and opinions on it, here is a quick clip for you guys. And there you have it. Great work by um, Drag Times and I think it's Hennessy's performance drag strip. Um, yes, now, as I said, as long as you watch the video, you'll kind of understand what's, what's going on here. So it was, so the SF90 pretty much from a standstill, uh, like on launch, uh, was quicker than the 765 LT that I watched. Uh, on a rolling race, though it was way, way closer. It looks like the 765 LT has it. Um, but it just shows you how quick the SF90 is. But the SF90 has, I think, a thousand brake horsepower, and it's a hybrid. Uh, so obviously, it's going to take off. I think a bit quicker than the 765LT. But the 765LT held its own. I mean, look, the, the price difference here. Um, like my question to you guys is, which would you take? Would you take the SF90, or would you take the 765LT? Um, the SF90 is $625,000 new starting. It's a 4 litre twin turbo V8 plug in hybrid with 8, eight speed automatic, all wheel drive. Um, and then the price of this, this 765 LT is $358,000, around half the price, and a seven, 755 uh, brake horsepower. Um, I mean, that's why you know, a lot of people go for McLaren. It, McLaren is kind of like the, the, the budget entry supercar fun uh, epic cars and they've learned i feel from their mistakes from maybe the 570s and stuff like that this thing is an absolute beast and for half the price to be able to keep up with the sf90 uh is amazing uh but the sf90 sounded sick uh, i really i really loved this sf90 that was in the video the wheels were fucking amazing on it i just love the stance of it in the back of it uh don't get me wrong the 765 lt is unbelievable i am probably more of a mclaren fanboy than i would be a ferrari at the moment but the sf90 ever since i knew and saw pictures of it about being released i've fallen in love with that car if i won the lotto tomorrow that would be one of my cars on top of my list of a ferrari car straight off the bat um, it just sounds amazing. It's so fucking quick, like it's crazy. I just love watching that video. Uh, it just really gonna give you, um, you know, if you're thinking, if you were somebody in the market and you were thinking of buying these cars, it just gives you such good insight to what you're getting. Um, just brilliant video. I highly recommend go watch it, guys. Drag times just killed it as always. Next up is gonna be vehicle versions. He has literally just posted. I'd say not even half an hour ago, an hour ago on Instagram. His new video is coming out. He's back with a new video. Um, so he's po posting a video on Friday, noon PST time. I think that would be around 7 p.m. my time on Friday. Um, he's put up an Instagram post basically saying, I'm back Friday noon PST time, head-to-head -head review, goes live on YouTube. So excited for this next chapter of vehicle versions. Which are you taking, left or right? Now, my question to that is, right, as much as I love the old style GT, I absolutely fucking love the new one. I, I'm head over heels about it. It's one of my favorite shaped cars out there. Um, yeah, it's just, they're just amazing. Now, 
as I said, guys, he like this is going to be very interesting. I uh, I said it in my other videos before. If you haven't seen them, check them out. His first one to three videos are crucial. I mean, like it's really going to tip how his views go because he's going to get a ton of views for the first probably one, two or three videos because they want to see is the old Parker back? Is he going to apologize directly to DD and um, and Stradman, etc.? Um, it's going to be a big, massive thing, like you know. So he's going to get a lot of views for the first three videos. If he, uh, he's got to deliver because if he doesn't, his views are going to slip again, and you really can't see him recovering after this one. I mean, he just needs to give up. It, he's this is his second time round now trying to recover, and uh, I really think he's going to have to clear the big elephant in the room by addressing people. Are going to say it, apologizing to people directly. Uh, until he does that, I don't think he's going to win over a lot of people either. But let me know in the comments below, guys. Are you excited to see what way the video comes out? What you want to happen with vehicle version? of Parker uh, you know, are you going to give him a chance or are you done with him um, comment below guys and I'll bring up your comments on Sunday I'm um, just interested to hear what you think on this subject as well next up is going to be DD speaking of them and our latest video was uh, Dave was down at SR is it SR no sorry August luxury motor cars um, and now he's looking for uh, a new supercar to replace his Quadra Corsa. Um, he was looking at maybe the F12, which he, li he liked more over the GT40 and um, 4GT. Um, so the question, gee guys, is which one do you want him to get? Now, I do like the F12, and I love the sound of the F12, but um, there, was, there was a... Uh, there was a car YouTube channel called Garage Goals. They don't post anymore. They just they just left their channel. They haven't posted in over a year, I think now. But he had a slammed modified black GT, and it was insane. If Dave could replicate with a nice wrap, slamming on a nice set of wheels, a nice FI exhaust system, it would be the dog's bollocks. I would love him to do that. I would want him to go for the GT. Um, but let me know in the comments guys what you think what car he should go for they've, because they've already had I think they had the FF on their channel and an F12 um, so you wonder you know obviously they're trying to keep the mixture going but I would love to see them get a GT on there and you did see in their uh, in their thumbnail uh, Stradman's I think they said Stradman's GT or something like that um which you know obviously is just all a bit of fun in games but as we know Stradman never responds to dd they're not that i've seen on instagram or even in the comments as well when they comment under his vids uh but yeah it'd be interesting if he does get a gt and if he does twin turbo like you know if he do, goes down that route it would be sick because houston crosta from right the exotics has a gt and he is a twin turbo kit in his so you wonder kind of like <laughs> so yeah let me know in the comments below guys let me know which car you think dave should get um you know be just interesting because i hope i hope he gets the gt um next up is going to be elliot alves good old elliot <laughs> i hope you're watching <laughs> i am delighted he got the z4 or won it as i think what you say he won it in a casino and um, when I saw it, he did put up a post on Instagram asking people to guess. But I was like, how the fuck are you going to guess with just a, a wheel and a brake caliper? Uh, you know, I, I was looking at because the brake caliper was so small. I was like, it has to be a JDM car. Or I was thinking a European car, but then I was like, yeah, maybe it's a Z4. And I love Z4s. I'll never forget the day they came out in 2005. Three, I think it was 2004. I was like, man, the shape of these things. They were so cool looking. Um, I've always wanted to get my hands on one and modify one and he's gotten the cheapest one in the country guys just go check it out the video I highly recommend uh, Elliot's channel it's brilliant I, I love like the way he does his intros and uh, it's just funny you know really really good and uh, yeah 280,000 miles I think he said on the engine and it's still going strong and um, a few one or two bits he probably need to fix in it so Elliot, if you are watching, please modify the fuck out of it. <laughs> I don't know if you're into modifying cars, but this one up here, I would love, like this red one, slammed. Uh, but if you had the M Sport front bumper on it, for a nice set of uh, wheels, 18s or 19s, slammed, and a new, you know, either shine up the silver or wrap it or you know, plasti dip it, uh, it would be absolutely sick. 
Um, I you've like I've been looking for a project car for this channel. Z4 would be up my list, but I think it's a bit out of my price range. I don't know if I'd be able to afford one, but if I did get one, I would modify the living crap out of it. So I'd be keeping a close eye on Elliot's um, channel. I want to see how this project goes. Cannot wait. Great content, guys. Go and check out his channel in the description uh, below. Next up is going to be, who we're going to cover next? I think, oh, the last person actually, we've already gotten that far. <laughs> last person on the list is going to be Calvin Malley. Calvin Malley, uh, guys, he's started pumping back out the content, trying to get his YouTube algorithm back up, and he's bought a new car. He's bought a R32 GTR. He said back in 2015, he's always wanted one, and uh, it's been a goal of his for his channel as well. Um, and all I can say is congratulations. Uh, he's going to do. I don't think he's going to do too much to it. He's he's going to obviously bring back up the paint, maybe we spray it the same color. Doesn't plan to do much to the engine. I'd say he'll probably put in coilovers, a set of wheels, maybe a lip kit. Um, but it's going to be a nice build. If you're looking for a JDM build to go on, definitely check out his channel. Um, I really like the way he modifies cars and does a lot of the work himself. Uh, I am not an R32 GTR fan, I am not going to lie, as I'm just honest guys, I do not like the shape of them one bit whatsoever, I'm an anti R32 person, <laughs> I know if you're a JDM guy, I just don't like them, um, there's been a good few of them here in Ireland before, I've been in one and been around them and they're just not for me, I just do think they're too boxy looking, I just don't like the way the front goes out and then just kind of goes right out underneath, I just do not like those cars. I like the R33s GTRs, they're not too bad, R34s that are better and then the R35, so that's just me. But uh, yeah, I'm going to look forward to this build, uh, definitely check out his channel guys, cannot wait to see what he does with this R32 uh, indeed. So that's it for today guys, that's everything I have, um, yeah, I hope you like this kind of stuff, again, I hope you smash that subscribe button and just give the channel a chance guys, and uh, you know, all my regular commenters, your legends, thanks very much for, you know, keeping interacting in the comments and, and liking the videos, it really means a lot to me for being just a, a small channel, just trying to hopefully, you know, find you good videos and channels that you can watch as well, so um, yeah guys, thanks very much, uh, until the next episode, stay safe, peace out, and keep it lit.